Thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, it's my third Imeco. So I, I was visiting here Jena in 2005, 11 and now today. So my name is Stefan Sommer, that's me. And uh, I hold the chair of, for metrology, measuring technology, and bearing technology in the bearing city of Schweinfurt. You probably know that they are the biggest bearing manufacturers are in the city. And that's why uh, I'm uh, very deep involved in this bearing technology. And uh, today I would like to show you uh, the scattering light technology. So um, the, the presentation before me was also about reflecting light. But I think my presentation is not so scientific. So I would like to show you a really deep uh, go into application. So how does it work? Where can you use it? And where can you make money with it? Where does it give you a benefit? And scattering light in bearing production is my topic. I'd like to show you roundness, waviness, and roughness of an object in one operation. I have partners. One partner is OptoSurf. Uh, OptoSurf uh, is is one of the market leaders in scattering light technology. There are, I know two worldwide. One of them is OptoSurf. And the second is uh, my partner, uh, Mr. Helfrich. And uh, Mr. Helfrich and myself, we together uh, are running a Steinbeis Transfer Center for Bearing Technology here in, uh, in Herzogenaurach. Okay, so let me quick uh, go through an uh, agenda. First of all, I'd like to talk about the fundamentals. So what is scattering light all about? The second would be a roughness of a surface, how you can measure roughness. The third point would be roundness and waviness, how we can measure that. And last but not least, the summary. Well, let's talk about fundamentals. Well, um, we see a sensor is projecting a LED light point onto a surface. So second step is the surface is reflecting the light. If you imagine the surface is a mirror, a mirror would be providing a perfect reflection of the light. Okay, so the light is reflected and due to the roughness of that surface, the light is scattering. A lens is capturing the scattered light and is uh, beaming the light to the CCD array and we can read a scattered light distribution. Um, the scattering light technology is <coughs> very uninsensitive against the capture between the surface and the lens. It does not matter how far the object is away from your, from your lens. It does not matter. Because the scattering light angle, phi, stays the same. And the scattering light angle is is uh, produced is on one point of the arrow, of the array. So, how can we measure roundness of, uh, sorry, roughness of a surface? Well, let's take a look inside the the sensor. Here we have the LED. It's the LED that is pr uh, projecting a light point onto the surface. The light is reflected, it scatters, it goes through the lens and over a beam splitter on the CCD array. The scattering of the light is depending on the roughness of the surface. Let's take the surface. 
it's a little bit smoother here and here it's more rough. So here this light is not so much scattering, but here the light is more scattering. So a smooth surface shows us a narrow distribution of the light and a rough surface shows us a wide distribution of the light. <coughs> so uh, I have a little animation. Let's say this is the surface and this is the surface uh, roughness we see. This is our beam, our light beam. This is our scattering light distribution. And this is a new roughness value. And we call it AQ. So you probably know roughness values as R, RA, RZ. So this is a new value. OK? New roughness value. And let's put this new roughness value into a quality chart. So as we go over the surface, we see the better the surface gets, the narrow the distribution is. So going over that surface, we have on a good smooth surface a very low AQ value because we have a very tight distribution. So here it's a rough surface again, a wide distribution and a higher AQ value. So going over the complete surface of, uh, of a bearing, for example, going over the complete surface, we can calculate an average. Okay, so we can tell, okay, this surface has an average of this and this much AQ. Now, this is how it looks like in bearing production. We have cylindrical rollers here on a conveyor belt. And look how simple the setup is. And we are measuring in microns. We are measuring roughness. Everybody of you comes out of metrology. You know how to measure roughness. It's a tactile measurement and everything around has to be temperated, temperature, clean, everything. So here we are in the middle of a production area. It's production environment. Of course you have to take care of cleanliness, but a little bit oil on that rollers does not matter much. It's not so critical. And look, here is the AQ value, and it's going down as the grinding wheel for those products is wearing. It goes to a limit, then there is a setup, redressing the grinding wheel, and then the process starts over again. So it's a very fast, very robust measurement in production. Um, the next step is how to measure roundness and waviness. Let's start with this left picture here. And let's say this is our wavy surface. The light comes down, reflects on this angle, as we just discussed about, and go to the middle of this middle picture. This is the surface again, the wavy surface. So going up the wave, would reflect the light to the left and the distribution would be set to the left. On top of the wave, the reflection would be in the middle and going down the wave, the reflection would be to the right again. So looking inside the sensor, we have the waviness, we have our lens, the lens is projecting the scattered light onto the CCD and here we have our distribution. And for that I have a little animation again. So here is the wave, wave surface, 
the light scattered the lens onto the array, and this is the distribution. Now watch, oh sorry, as here, as that point moves, the distribution moves too. Okay, so we are looking on two parts of the story. One is the roughness, that's the width of the distribution, and one is the waviness, which is, tells us where is the distribution going. So now, one question is always, how does it correlate to known measurements? For example, we have a tactile form tester. You know, you all know tactile form testers. There are various tactile form testers since generations in the market. And taking, putting a, a roller like this on a tactile form tester, you can measure the waviness and the roundness, which is nothing else but the second of that waviness. Yeah, so this is pretty round, but it's wavy. And taking that on the optical measurement with the scattered light, which, which is here, it's 99% the same. It correlates 99% to the tactile measurement. I brought you a little video from our YouTube channel. Well, this is the university, quality management and uh, bearing technology. We're a little bit supported by the ministry in Bavaria. Well, this is a bearing ring from OptoSurf, like I said. We, you have to clean it. Sendering. Here is the tactile measurement, tactile probe. This is the scattering light probe sensor. We align it. Here tactile measurement, here optical measurement. You see here the distribution. This is the AQ value. This is the distribution. This is the LED. And this is our reading. It's form, waviness, roundness. Roundness, we do an FFT analysis, fast phase transformation. This is the tactile measurement. This is tactile, and this is again the fast phase over the tactile measurement. And it's 100% correlation. It's a very, very fast. Um, very, very fast new optical technology. So um, let me quickly sum up what we were talking about. So the scattering light technology uses reflection of light on a surface. With scattering light, we are able to measure roughness on a smooth surface. The smoother the surface is, like a mirror, the better it works. Scattering light is also able to measure roundness and waviness. Scattering light sensors are very robust, can be used in serious production. And especially in bearing production, the technology offers, offers a lot, is offering significant advantages. It provides inline monitoring of the product quality and simultaneously reducing the cycle time <coughs> by measuring roughness, roundness, and waviness in one single operation. And last but not least, a clean surface is required for scattering light. But since cleanliness is a requirement for any optical technology, I'm not sure if we can call it a disadvantage. So this is the contact again, that's me and OptoSurf and Steinbeis. And thank you very much for your attention.